surrounded by people yet all by myself. I can hear the sound of silence. It's like the sound of empty wealth. I rest in this place where alone meets the world. This place gives me joy in my own little world. If I sit very still and I don't make a sound, maybe I won't be seen and never be found. I can imagine myself to be hidden from view. Then life would go on, however severed or untrue. Eventually, I'll always need to leave my mark. But until then, I can sit and dream in the dark. James Elliot here. My pronouns are he slash him. Today is my six month anniversary of starting my testosterone and I am doing my testosterone injection today. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my journey and I'm also going to do my injection today um, on camera. I don't have a script. Um, I'm just gonna talk a little bit, so bear with me. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, but um, uh, welcome to my channel. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start preparing my stuff and talk a little bit about just some of the things that I've been dealing with. Um, I plan on doing my my testosterone shots usually on Saturdays because I uh, one of the things that I've been noticing um, is that uh, in the beginning when I first started doing the testosterone shots I had these huge bursts of energy that I would get on Saturday when I would do my shots and then I would have all this energy um, throughout the week and now I'm just tired all the time. And I asked my doctor, I was like, why am I so tired? And the doctor said, do you have any teenage boys at home? And I was like, oh yeah, I do. And they said, yeah, your teenage boys, do they sleep a lot? And I said, yeah, yeah, they do. They said, teenagers are growing and changing and their bodies are creating a lot of stuff and that's what your body's doing and i was like oh okay okay yeah I, I actually am creating a lot of stuff i'm realizing i'm making facial hair and my body's actually developing muscles in areas that you know i'm getting pictorial muscles and my body is creating a, a, a body organ that it didn't have before um, I'm not going to mention that right now, but, you know, there's things that, um, I have, I'm going through and I'm just tired. I'm extremely exhausted. So on Saturday, when I do my injection, I get a burst of energy. So if I want to do something like cut the grass, um, do anything that is going to be energetic. If I want to go to the beach with the kids or do something like that. I'm going to plan it for uh, the weekend. And um, so I'm going to work on my testosterone right now. I'm going to get it put in here. I'm measuring out my... I did all the... Um, I'm sorry, I'm losing track of what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm doing it because it's all muscle memory. Anyway. Um... I have been working on going through a lot of my old poems and I found some poems that interest me from the past. Um, I found one in particular, you probably heard me reading it at the beginning of the video, 
it's interesting to find stuff that um, that I wrote a long time ago that still um, makes sense today. Um, I didn't know that I was autistic when I wrote a lot of the poems that I wrote. And when you realize that the autistic brain <laughs> is trying to make sense of stuff by just putting the information down on paper. Um, I never went to doctors or anything like that, but um, until, well, last year. Now I can make sense of it all. And it's just, it's really great to be able to have all this stuff and, and be able to go over it and talk. I, I'm showing some of this stuff to my therapist and and she's just like, wow, it's great that you still have all this stuff too. So, got that all measured and ready to go. That grass isn't going to cut itself. Every time I take the dog out to walk her, she keeps stepping in pickers, and the pickers are getting really bad overgrown. Florida heat is really bad out there. I can't go out there and cut the grass when it's this hot, and I just don't have the energy to do it. Oh, speaking of the heat, I've been wanting to go out there and cut the grass, but not wanting to do it in the binder. So today, I decided to try trans tape again. And the trans tape is difficult. It's just one of the most difficult things to do. Because when you put it on, okay, if you have a smaller chest, you can put the trans tape on and you can kind of push yourself down and you push yourself out and, and you flatten yourself out a little bit. Um, but when you have a larger chest like I do, um, I sort of sag down like um, like the National Geographic women. Um, I If I'm not wearing anything, I could tuck myself in my belt line. Well, when you're like that and you go to use trans tape, you, you can take the trans tape and you have to have a long piece and you're supposed to take it and tuck it around the outside. And it's difficult because I could take it and wrap it around my outside, around my back. And it's really awkward for me to try to do that by myself. So I had my husband trying to help me do this and I'm like sitting here trying to do this and it's just really, really awkward. I did it today, but I had to use basically an entire roll of trans tape. I'm wearing it today, but it basically makes me look like I've got man boobs. So I'm wearing my man boobs with the trans tape today. Um, so I decided to put on my, my joke shirt. Um, this is my joke shirt and it has a bunch of, like it looks like I have a, a, a hairy chest with like nipples and I'm gonna wear it when I go out to cut the grass later. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up it looks very silly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, I know. Very, very silly. But I'm hoping that the neighbors get a kick out of it when I'm out there cutting the grass. So, there you go. You can all have a laugh. And that was my funny little joke part of today's video for you all today. Ha ha ha. <laughs> So, before we move on to the shot part of the video, I want to mention something about my hair. I did get a haircut last week, and it is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, I went to Fantastic Sam's, and I got a fade, and I also got my tips bleached. The guy who did my hair, his name is Glenn, and he did an amazing job. He works at the Fantastic Sam's here in Northport. This is his business card. It's uh, Glenn Castillo, 
and he does a great job at Fantastic Sam's in Northport, Florida. I don't know how many people that watch this video actually live in Northport, but this is my little, you know, referral to him if anybody's watching. So shout out to Glenn. If uh, he's watching, hey, uh, thanks for the haircut. It was amazing. I appreciate it. Um, and also just, you know, anybody else that's in the area, go to Fantastic Sam's. It's awesome. The haircut is only 20 bucks. Um, it's great. And, you know, it includes the wash and everything. So, um, yeah, moving on, I'm going to go ahead and do my shot now. So I'm going to do my little alcohol, make sure that my spot on my belly is clean. You guys don't need to see this anymore. You guys have seen me do my shots before. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this off camera. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep talking about how awesomely happy I've been with the results of my shots and just how happy I am overall. I'm wearing my contacts today, by the way. Um, I don't know. I, um, I'm just, I have to get new glasses because my other glasses I can't see out of. That's the reason why I'm not, you know, wearing them. Uh, and, yeah, I'm just making small talk because I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just so happy. Everybody that keeps seeing me says I'm beaming all the time. Um, I did one of those, uh, apps that, like, ages you, and it's supposed to, like, look at your face and then tell you what you're going to look like when you get old, and it recognized me as a man, so that was really euphoric. And it, you know, it could have looked at me and said that I was going to look like an old lady when I grew up. But instead, it, it looked at me and said I was going to look like an old man when I grew up. So, <laughs> all right, I'm putting my injection in right now. So I'm not going to talk while I'm doing this because it always makes me nervous. no blood that came out. Yay. Sharps container. All that good stuff. And I am done with my injection. Looking forward to my boost of energy because I've been tired all week. Well, not all week. I'm tired since about Tuesday, so. Okay, that felt good. I don't have any pain, which is good. That means that I didn't nick any blood vessels, so I'm happy about that. And that was my six month injection. Yay, happy, happy, happy. And I will see you guys again at, let's see, Let's do uh, an eight-month checkup after this. Yeah, we'll do an eight-month checkup. And until then, let's all strive for the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Thanks. <laughs>